Hello everyone, it's Brian. I'm here to review episode 5 of season 10 of The Walking Dead titled What It Always Is. I really like this episode. I think it was better than episode 4. It mostly focuses on Negan, Brandon, and Daryl. So the episode starts off with Kelly hunting a boar in the forest by herself and we hear like a bunch of ringing so it's like through Kelly's ears. So you know it's very distorted and it's not clear. She kills a boar but gets attacked by walkers and the walkers munch on the dead boar. Kelly tries to ru run away but falls and injures herself. Kelly then props herself on a tree but a walker sneaks out from behind her. We get the intro and then we get to see Negan at a river washing his face and Brandon shows up and gives him some water and we all knew that it was Brandon that was the one that freed Negan. Yumiko talks with Earl, Eugene, and Alden about fixing the hilltop. Yumiko really is stepping up as the leader, even though Magna was the leader before her. Uh, we get a new character, her name is Brianna. She shows up and tells Yumiko that it happened again. And I'm sorry, but wasn't Birdie like the TV version of Brianna from the comics? And I don't know, there's, I'm sorry, but there's no way that Brianna like has lived in the hilltop all this time since it's been there and we just never saw her you know it's just it's a minor thing but I just hate it when the show introduces a new character and expects us to believe they were always there anyways Yumiko goes to talk with Magma and suspects that she was the one that stole the supplies I don't really like TV Magma that much I mean she's kind of making things more difficult than they already are Daryl and Sadiq come to the hilltop and Ezekiel Talks to them about, you know, what Negan took from them and how, you know, they were never able to take back from him, I guess. But that didn't really make much sense because, like, I'm pretty sure if they'd taken everything from Negan, I mean, they took his freedom, I mean, all his outposts, his home, and like 99.9% .9 of his people. So, I don't know, that, I was, I was just wondering, like, when Ezekiel said that, I'm like, you kind of did. Anyways, uh, Ezekiel asks if Sadiq can stay because they need help in the infirmary because like half the kingdom is like injured apparently from the tree collapse. Anyways, some guys, some hunters, I think Oscar, returns from the hilltop from hunting and Connie asks them where her sister is and I guess they let her go off on her own because they didn't know she was deaf. Back with Negan and Brandon, they have a talk and we find out that Brandon is one of the very few survivors from the sanctuary and that his parents were killed by Rick. Brandon also apparently doesn't know that Carl died from a walker because he believed that Negan did it. Negan gets a little angry and tells him that he didn't kill, kill Carl. He says that he doesn't kill kids. Anyways, Negan gets attacked by a walker and kills it quite gruesomely. Brandon gives Negan a Lucille 2.0 and his old leather jacket back but Negan doesn't want to take it yet because he doesn't want to be recognized but isn't Negan's prison outfit that he's wearing easier to recognize than you know his old jacket I don't know that's just a question I had meanwhile Aaron is training and sees Gamma using a walker to pollute a river so he watches her and hides Brandon and Negan see some walkers and Negan hears a woman screaming and he goes and starts killing the walkers outside and inside the bus very gruesomely as well. He takes a walker and bashes his head in with the door and Brandon just watches. He doesn't really help. Daryl and Connie look for Kelly in the woods and he tells her about a story he had with Merle about it, like a boat that was on like private property on a lake and how he almost died. He makes her smile and they even hold hands for a little bit, but Talk gets their attention because he found the remains of the boar, so they're pretty close to Kelly. They find Magna, who doesn't say anything. I don't know why she didn't really say anything. I guess she was out here because she was taking supplies or she was looking for Kelly. Anyways, at the hilltop, Earl talks with Alden about how he thinks the attacks are from the Whispers because the tree's roots were healthy, so it doesn't make sense. Sadiq and Ezekiel are in the Barrington house, and medical supplies are missing now. Ezekiel talks about how Henry made him a metal Shiva miniature, you know, uh, thing, 
and uh, I'm not really sure like when Henry could have made this because didn't Henry like get put in the cell on his first night at the hilltop so I don't know when he could have had time to make that I don't know anyways Ezekiel starts coughing and we see the revelation Ezekiel has a big lump on his neck so yeah Ezekiel's days are numbered he mentions how his grandmother and his father had it as well but they lived longer because they had chemo uh, sorry, chemotherapy and treatment but there's no treatment you know that can save him now obviously so yeah in the bus the new characters Amelia and Milo her son who were saved by Negan earlier are talking to him about how it's just them now from the group Negan eventually he tells Brandon to go Brandon says he can't go back to Alexandria because they're going to be wondering where he went and Negan doesn't trust him he sees that Brandon isn't mentally all there anyways Gamma goes to the whisper camp and sees Alpha and Beta doing whisper things like normal Alpha wants apparently Alpha wanted Gamma to pollute the river and a whisper asks Alpha why they're doing you know multiple small attacks instead of just a big one with a horde obviously Alpha can't tell them that she doesn't want to risk killing Lydia so she cuts him and has Beta kill him I'm sorry but like how many whispers has Alpha killed now you know what I mean like if she keeps doing this she's not really gonna have any left I mean I think I've noticed this season she has a lot less whispers than she had before so yeah anyways we find out that Alpha is the one that is doing this that you know she is behind the attacks you know she had the tree she even mentions it the tree so I was right I called it you know it's it's the whispers and you know Alpha is just changing her tactics that's all anyways uh, the kid Milo has a toy airplane and Negan comes to talk with him Negan does some cursing but he, he bonds with Milo a little bit the two of them talk and Negan tells him that he can point him and his mother to Alexandria but they can't mention that Negan told him where it is you know they can't mention that he they ran into a guy named Negan and I was actually glad because this made so much sense you know like Negan obviously can't go back to Alexandria but obviously like you know this makes sense like pointing them there you know is helping it helping with his redemption arc Gamma goes to pollute the river again and she goes crazy killing the walker stabbing it she keeps stabbing it thinking about how she betrayed her sister so Gamma is having regrets I think she's becoming unhinged you know damaged and she cuts herself with a knife and I'm sorry but nothing can save her now you know she's got walker blood in her so she's got to be dying Aaron sees her and gives her some bandages she takes them and leaves without saying anything dog finds Kelly and Kelly tells them you know to tell them something and then Daryl asks what it is and they find the hilltop supplies that Magna stole earlier and we see that uh, we see that Negan comes back and he sees that Brandon has not only come back but he has killed Amelia and Milo Negan freaks out on Brandon he's very angry and I was glad that Negan killed him Brandon absolutely deserved it he was either brainwashed stupid or both I do think there was a little bit of a missed opportunity here but I'll explain that in a little bit Negan takes the bag and leave Daryl and the others come back with Kelly and the supplies Sadiq is talking to Dante how things in Alexandria are going Sadiq asks for Carol but when Ezekiel sits down Ezekiel decides not to tell Carol and he turns the radio off before he can tell her obviously he's dying I'm sure she's gonna find out eventually because nothing in The Walking Dead remains a secret I mean except for the helicopter group that's been a secret for like three years Yumiko and Magna argue she knows that Magna is the one that stole the supplies it's pretty obvious you know I mean the supplies that they find in the stash are the same ones that you know that were stolen recently or that went missing and uh, it turns out that Magna 
went to prison because apparently she killed the guy who hurt her little cousin who was a girl and Yumiko wanted to prove Magna was innocent she gave her a chance and I do like the backstory but we don't need a love of lover's quarrel you know it's just I don't know it's just weird Gamma tells Alpha that she saw Aaron and Alpha says that she'll need a new mask either because she's getting promoted again or Alpha has another plan for Gamma that it just so happens to involve a different mask. Connie thanks Daryl for everything he did for them, even lying, you know, to the hilltop people to cover for Magna, stealing supplies, but like I said, you know, it doesn't really make much sense. This, I mean, this isn't season seven. I mean, you know, there's it's not like the stash is in a decade in the apocalypse, you know. Anyways, Daryl and Connie say goodbye to each other, holding out holding out hope for you know eventually the relationship between the two to start there uh negan is in the forest and he recites the big bad wolf motto you know which is cool you know he's saying he's gonna huff and puff and blow your house down like um and um he kills a bunch of walkers and he gets pushed into the ground and he sees beta and the other whispers and then the episode ends so like i said i enjoyed this episode there was a good amount of Donnie in this episode, you know, Car uh, Connie and Daryl, because uh, that's pretty cool. And there was also a good amount of gore. And, but like I said, this episode did have some flaws with it. Brianna showing up as a new character out of nowhere, Gamma, Gamma getting cut with walk of blood, and it just not being a big deal, you know, is a small problem. And I also, I also wonder if, like, instead of killing you know, the mother and her son, if instead they could have made it to Alexandria, and that way if Negan ever comes back to Alexandria, they can actually defend Negan and say that he's a good man. I feel like maybe that would have been interesting to see, but we're never going to see that, and that's okay. I'm just saying, like, that might have been interesting. Anyways, so that's pretty much it for this episode. I really enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought of it, and thank you for watching this review if you stayed this long. Talk, listening to me talk. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye.